Today we're gonna solve the mama zebra and the baby zebra. So let's start. Oh, where did the puzzles go? And we have beautiful crayons, so we're gonna pick this crayon, the red one first, and we're gonna open it. Okay, let's do it. Wow, we have the puzzles, the cubes, and the puzzle bit, but we also have the number. So let's start with the number. This is the number six. Okay, let's place it here, the number six. And let's look at those puzzle pieces. So we have cubes. Which one of this belong to the cubes? Where we should place the cubes, here or here? Do you remember when we started? Exactly, here we can place the cubes. Great, and here we have the puzzle pieces. Where we should place the puzzle pieces? If we have he cubes here, then we can place puzzle pieces here. Great. First, we're gonna find the puzzle pieces and also the numbers, and then we're gonna try to solve them one by one. So let's open this one. Oh, we have two numbers and puzzle pieces, so let's start with the numbers. So here we have number four, and it's a green color. So we're gonna place the number four here. And between number four and six, we have number five. So it's a blue color. So four, five, six. Great. Let's look at those puzzle pieces. So here we have cubes. Where we should place the cubes here or here? Yes, we should place the cubes here. So let's do it like this. And then we're gonna take the puzzle pieces and let's look where we should place them. We should place them here. Great. Let's leave it like this and let's open the next crayon. And the next crayon that we're gonna open gonna be the blue one. So let's shake and... Wow, so many things we have here. We have numbers and puzzles. So let's start with the numbers. So here we have number. You know it. It's number seven and it's an orange color. So number seven goes right after the number six. Great, so I have four, five, six, and seven. Okay, and here we have number two. And number two is red color. So let's try to place it where we should place. Yes, because between two and four, there is number three. But we still need to find it. Okay, and the next one number we have is number nine. Great. And where we should place the number nine? Exactly, it should go right here, because between 7 and 9 there is also number 8 that we need to find. Okay, let's move to the puzzles. So here we have these puzzles. And where should we place them? Should we place in this puzzle board or this puzzle board? Yes, we should place them here. And then we should do it like this. We have the cubes, 4 cubes, 1, 2, 3, and four and where we should place them here or here can you see the cubes yes we should place the cubes here great okay so let's open the next crayon and the next round if we're gonna open we're gonna be that pink one. Oh, what we have here we have here again two numbers so here we have number eight the blue color and let's see where we can place the number eight can you see the place Yes, the number 8 goes right after the number 7, like this. So we have 7, 8, 9. Okay, and here, what we have, number 3, and it is yellow color. And where we should place the number 3? Exactly. 2 and 3. Great. So let's count. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Great. And let's go with the puzzle. So here we have three puzzles. Let's count one, two, and three. And where we should place them? We have here this type of puzzles. And here we have cubes. Yes, it should go to cubes. So let's place them like this. And then let's look at this puzzle. So we here have here two puzzle pieces. One and two. So we need to place them at this board. Right, great. And we only left with the last crayon, the yellow one. Let's open. 
wow, here we have the number 10 and the number 1. Okay, and where we should place the number 1? Let's look at the numbers. Where we should place the number 1? It should go here because it's always stars with number 1. And number 1 is red color. Great, so it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and the last one. Yes, 10. Great, we've completed all the numbers and we've learned how to count them. Let's do it again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Great, and let's look at those cubes. So here we have three cubes, right? And let's place them right here. Okay, so we found all the pieces to solve this puzzle, right? So then let's take these three puzzle pieces and just place them here like this. Great. So let's start with the most difficult one, right? So what we need to find here is the zebra. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna rotate those cubes one by one. Let's do it together. So let's find the zebra. Oh, here is the zebra face. Great, let's place it on a board. And then, let's take the next one. So the next one, and then be this one. Okay, let's start. Oh, here's the part of the zebra that what we need. And then the next one. Let's turn around. Do we see the zebra? Is this the zebra? Yes, correct. And then the next one. Let's rotate. And what we have here, the tail of the zebra and the black stripes and the white ones. Great. And then the next one. Here we have the lack of the zebra. Great. And let's find, can you see here in the zebra? Can you see the zebra? Yes, here is the lacks of the zebra. Great. And then the next one. This one. Let's turn around. Can you see the zebra? Yes, it is here with the rainbow. Great, let's place it on a board. And then the next one. Can you see here the zebra? Can you see the zebra? Ha, I don't think there is the zebra right now, so let's place it away. And then another one. Do we see the zebra? Can you see the zebra and the black stripes and the white ones? Yes, it is here. Can you see the small part? So we're gonna place on a board like this. Okay, and the next one gonna be the another cube. Can you see the zebra here? Can you see the zebra? And yes, here is the zebra. Great, let's place it on a board. And then another one. Can you find the zebra? Can you find the zebra? Yes. Where it is? Where it is? Where it should stop? Yes, it's this here. Here's the zebra leg. Great! We almost found every piece. So let's continue. Let's try to rotate. Can you see the zebra? Let's do it again. Can you see the zebra? Yes, here is the zebra smiling. Okay. And then let's do it again. Let's see, can you spot the zebra? Can you spot the zebra? Can you see the zebra? Yes, it is here. Trade. Amazing. Well done. And then the next one. What we have here? Can we spot the zebra? Let's do it again. Can we spot the zebra? Yes, yes. Where it is? Here's the zebra. See the small part. That's what we need. Okay, great. Let's place it somewhere here. Okay, and then let's take the next one. Let's rotate. Can we find the zebra? Can we see it? It is. Can you see the zebra? It is here. Yes, correct. Nice. And then the next one. Can we see the zebra? Is there is the zebra? I don't see the zebra. So can you see? Maybe can you spot the zebra? No, let's put it away. So we have to... Puzzle pieces where we couldn't find the zebra, but let's leave them for now. So here we have all the puzzle pieces that contains the zebra. And right now we need to combine them. So let's start with the face. So here we have the face of the zebra. So let's put it away like this. And here we have the face of the zebra. Let's connect them together like this. Okay, great. Then maybe place somewhere in the middle. And then let's maybe continue with the rainbow right so let's start with the rainbow so here we have the rainbow and here goes the rainbow right so we need to find the correct puzzle piece 
that would work with this. Okay. Hmm, this one doesn't work. So maybe this one. Let's try. Maybe like this. What do you think? No, it doesn't work. So maybe like this. What do you think? Yes, it works pretty well. What we have next one is the body of the zebra. Can you see the small part of the rainbow? Yes, correct. Well done. And then another thing. So here's the tree, the rainbow, and the zebra. Can we do it? Yes. Let's let's try. Let's see. Does it work well? Hmm. Seems pretty off. So maybe if we're gonna place it here, and then we need to find something in between. Right? So let's take another part of the zebra, and maybe let's this time take the body. And can you see? Yes, we connected the body with the zebra. And then we have a tail. And here you can see we have a tree and the part of the tail. So maybe if we're gonna connect them like this, it's gonna work. Yes. Great. And then another one could be... Hmm, which one we should take? Again, the rainbow. We should start with the rainbow because it's always helps us out when we start to combine those puzzle pieces, right? So on the next one, the legs. There is a lot of legs, so let's start with the legs. Mm -hmm. And what we should do? So here's the part of the tail. Here is the part of the tail. So let's do it like this. Great, well done. Okay, and then another one could be maybe here in the middle. Mm -hmm. I don't know, maybe do it like this. What do you think? You do think is it right? Yes. Okay, great job. And then the next one, we're gonna thank this one. Where we should place it? Hmm, maybe here? No, maybe let's try here. Yes. And we need to find here the legs. So we just go through the legs. Maybe this one. No. Let's try maybe place this here. Like this. Great. And then, let's take another one and... Hmm, maybe like that one. Great, it worked pretty well. And here's the small part of the zebra, right? And here we have the zebra, the bushes, and the rainbow. So let's try it. Fit it in here. Yes, well done. So we almost completed the zebra puzzle, the most difficult one, and you've done it pretty quickly. So we have two puzzle pieces. Okay, so let's maybe try to find the rainbow. Can you see the rainbow? Yes, here's the rainbow with the cloud. So let's try to place it here, like this. Great, and what we need to find is the tree with the flowers. So let's turn. Can you see the tree with the flowers? Can you see the tree with the flowers? Can you see the tree with the flowers? Yes, it is here, right, correct. You picked it right. And done, we've completed that. Mama zebra, amazing. So it's all done. So let's place it away and start with a baby zebra, right? So we have a lot of puzzle pieces here. And we need to combine them together to get the, this image here. So we have here the picture of the baby zebra. So maybe what we should do, we should start with the corner pieces. So we need to find the corner pieces. Is this a corner piece? Can you look at this? Yes, it has two sides that connect together. So it's a corner piece. And where we do have the flower. Here is the flower. Right here, right, and here is, and we also have the flower. So we're gonna move it at this corner, right. And we're gonna make it the next one. So the next one gonna be another corner piece. And then we're gonna look at this, and then we're gonna look at the image. Yes, and then we're gonna look, yes, right. And then we're gonna take the next puzzle piece to this one. What we're gonna do, we're gonna look at the image. Where we see the rock? Can you see the rock? Yes, and then we're gonna move it down. And then we're gonna connect. And then the next one we're gonna take, gonna be, again, the bottom part, right? So we're trying to connect the, all the bottom parts. So let's move it down, like this, and connect. Great, we've done the bottom part. So let's try to do that top part, this one, right? So we're gonna take the corner piece, and let's look. Where's the Discord? Yeah, it's on the left side, right? And then other side, we have the hat of the zebra. So we need to find two puzzle pieces that would connect. So it's a side puzzle piece. So as you can see on the image, we have the tail. And here we have the tail. 
so let's try to connect and yes well done and then the next one we're gonna be gonna be the ears of the zebra and let's try and push it and great so we only need to find the middle middle pieces okay so middle pieces we need to take the tail and the body and connect them together like this great and then another one we have the zebra mouth that's smiling on the right side great and then we have the other part of the zebra and the tail here great and then another one okay so we're gonna rotate and press great we've completed the zebra puzzle and the mama zebra amazing and we also found the numbers so all of the numbers that we found and we've completed this in no time and pretty quick well done. See you in the next video. Thank you, kids. Bye. See you next time. Don't forget to subscribe.